Today, in this fun experiment, we are going to demonstrate chemical equilibrium and Lee Chatier's principle. This is what you will need. Before we begin the experiment, we must understand what Lee Chatier's principle is. It is also known as equilibrium law. Lee Chatier's principle says, if a chemical system at dynamic equilibrium experiences a change in concentration, temperature, or pressure, the equilibrium will shift and form a new equilibrium. What must be understood is that all chemical reactions are reversible in a closed system. That means none of the reactants or products can leave. When chemical equilibrium occurs, the reactants are forming products at the same rate products are forming reactants. Henri-Louis Chatier discovered that changing either the concentration, the temperature, or pressure forced the chemical reaction to form a new equilibrium. We can demonstrate this by measuring the pH of an acid-base reaction. Let's begin the experiment. First, we need to make a basic pH indicator. We can do this with some purple cabbage. Next, take a beaker and fill it with crushed ice and water. Take another beaker and fill it with water and heat it on a stove. While the water is heating, take two test tubes and place 20 drops of the indicator solution into each test tube. Next, place some vinegar into each test tube. The liquid should turn bright pink. This color indicates an acidic pH. Now take the ammonia and start adding it to both test tubes one drop at a time. Stop as soon as it turns green. This creates a chemical equilibrium that results in a pH that is just barely basic. Now place both test tubes into the ice water and let it sit for five minutes. This will give each test tube a constant temperature. Now we can test Le Chatier's principle. Take the boiling water off the stove. Take one test tube and place it in the beaker of hot water for about 30 seconds. By doing this, we are changing the temperature and placing a stress on the chemical equilibrium. The proportion of reactants to products in the acid-base reaction will shift toward the reactants. This should change the pH and the color of the indicator. Let's take the test tube out of the hot water and compare the color. The test tube in the hot water turned blue compared to the one in the cold water which is still green. The pH of the blue one is about 8 while the green one is about 10 which is a much more basic solution. Place the green test tube into the hot water and the blue one into the cold water. The equilibrium should shift in each one. The only variable that was changed in this reaction was the temperature. Adding or removing heat energy changed the point that dynamic equilibrium was reached. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.